Hey guys, this is Graham with Tutorial Clarity, and today I'm basically going to be giving a quick tutorial on the image tag within uh, HTML. So basically all I've done here in Dreamweaver, and as always you can use Notepad if you so choose, but uh, what I've done here is uh, just created a new document. Um, I opened up the CSS style tag inside the head, style type equals CSS, body, open curly bracket, background color 999999 which gives me that 50% gray close that style and uh, always feel free to pause the video if you need to copy this stuff out this part right here is not absolutely necessary and these two lines right here are not necessary either but um, they obviously are later on and I'll explain that in more detail later but uh, if you ever get really into web design they are necessary has to do with the way that browsers read HTML so anyway, let's get down to the image tag. You can basically open up the image tag um, by typing left arrow image space, that's IMG for short, source or SRC equals open quote. And uh, my file, my logo file is called logo.png. And I'm going to hit a forward slash right arrow to close it. Now, it is not necessary. I've seen this before. It is absolutely not necessary. Sorry about that. It's absolutely not necessary to have a closing tag in this format for an image. In fact, it's kind of ridiculous. So this is one of those tags that you really don't need that <laughs> because nothing is going in between the image. You're just displaying the image. So there's the source to logo.png, which I need to add is relative to the position of the document you're working in, which in this case is index.html, which I have saved to my desktop. You can see there index.html. So, you know, to drive that point home, what I'm going to do here is move my logo from the point folder to the desktop. Don't worry about that. This is all that matters at this point what you're looking at right now. And by the way, I hope you like my wallpaper. Um gives me hope every time I look at it. You know, for the human race, that maybe one day we'd all work together, you know, for the greater good or survival of our species, rather than, uh, you know, the greater good of our individual selves, so to speak. Anyway, that's completely irrelevant. Sorry about that. Um, you have the index file over here that we've been working in, and our logo.png, and they are on the same location. So, when we type our source, SRC, it is in the same location. There's no slash directory, slash subdirectory in there. It's just logo.png. And when we click in here, by the way, I have it set to split view. In Dreamweaver, you can go between code, all code, 50% split. You can drag this up and down. I have it set to 50% about. And design there. But you can see there's our image, and it is in the document. Now, um, if we want to align it to the center, something else pretty useful is you can use a div, which I highly recommend, and you go div space align equals center, bring this down, and forward slash, left arrow forward slash div to close that. So now everything within this div, this invisible box, is going to be aligned to the center of the document within the body. And there you, you know, there it is. There you have it. Um... Is there anything else that I can cover? Hmm. You know, I think I think that's about it. I really just wanted to introduce you to the image tag and uh, perhaps show you how to align it. You can type align equals left. You can type align equals right and go figure. You guessed it. It is now aligned to the right. And if you really want to get detailed, you could say maybe align equals center, right? And there it is at the center. Let's say you want it about, you know, roughly uh, 150 pixels down from this. Well, you can use CSS for that. It's actually CSS margins, and it's very simple. Inside the div, because that's what defines the alignment of whatever's inside the div, which is our image, 
you type space style equals and then margin dash top colon space uh, how many pixels did I say it was 100 150 yeah let's do that 150 pixels and semicolon and then you close it with a quote so style equals open quote margin dash top colon space doesn't not really you don't always need that space there that's not necessary but uh, I do have it there and 150 pixels semicolon to close it and to close the whole style itself we have that quote there and so now when I refresh this here it is now you can see there's a gap there and that is 150 pixels down from the top of the document that's obviously way too much I would usually have it about you know something like 50 pixels and then we'll go to preview in Firefox and close these extra tabs there you have it you can see if I hit control A there's our image aligned to the center of the document and there's our 50 pixel margin so that's some extra alignment tips that you can use with divs um, I'm gonna cover divs in a separate tutorial div alignment alone because that is a very very useful aspect of divs um, with that guys my name is Graham with tutorial clarity this has been a relatively simple tutorial on images and the image tag within HTML take care Space.